Hi, folks. I'm Thanny Johnson. I'm a doctoral candidate in health, nutrition, and exercise science. And welcome to my research about protein intake and muscle health. Now, I imagine a lot of you when you're out there and you're thinking about muscle strength, you think of pro athletics, you think of bodybuilding. Muscle strength, though, is a lot more than that, okay? So muscle strength alone is related to our cognitive status. So the weaker you are, the more likely you are to have dementia, Alzheimer's disease, or any type of cognitive impairment. Beyond that, the weaker you are, the more likely you are to die from any natural cause. Lastly, folks, the weaker you are, the more likely you are to be disabled. And <clears throat> well, folks, that's a big one for me. This year, my mama turned 72 this very month. And I'd like her to live alone or continue living on her own as long as possible. So muscle health is really important. It's a critical marker of our overall health, actually, muscle strength. So there's a lot of things we can do to actually improve muscle strength. There's pharmacological options. Uh, anabolic steroids come to mind. Give mama the juice. Probably not the best call, you know. Um, but diet is a great and easy way that we can help increase and improve muscle health and muscle strength. So although there are many nutrients that can affect muscle strength and muscle health, protein is probably the most important because protein itself actually makes up our muscle tissue and forms our muscle tissue. So it's critically important. Most of the previous research though is focused on protein quantity, just the amount of protein that we're eating and not protein quality or its distribution. So what we found is that in those eating more high quality protein, so proteins from milk, eggs, cheese, fish and meats, that these people were stronger when we controlled for age, sex, uh, physical activity, protein intake itself, and energy intake. We also found in figure B here that in those eating 25 grams or more of protein at each meal, that these people were stronger when we controlled for age, well, sex in this case, because they're all women, uh, physical activity, energy intake, and protein intake. So the takeaways take from this research are actually really uh, impactful for our everyday lives. And most importantly, it would be one, choose high quality proteins. And then secondly, spread them out throughout your day. So get them at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So how much is 25 grams of protein? It's about one of those uh, personal servings of Greek yogurt. Uh, it's about uh, three and a half ounces of lean meat, uh, three cups or three cups of milk or four eggs. All right, thank you very much, folks. That's all I got. Come on up. Where do I see you?